Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador offered the international community a five-year truce to avoid military and economic wars. Our country's position is that wars and armed clashes should not exist and agreements should be sought through dialogue. States can agree on a truce for at least five years to be able to confront a crisis affecting the people. A truce that will put an end to war, confrontation, and provocation, he said. In response to a question about Mexico's position on the Sino-Taiwan issue, López Obrador said dialogue should take precedence over confrontation, and called for an end to trade wars between countries, using the UN as a mechanism to monitor commitments. Let things remain as they are once the fighting stops, especially the war between Russia and Ukraine, he said, urging, not to bet on a trade war because it affects all of us. As part of this five-year truce, the president said, the world's governments could promote industrial activity, create jobs, help the poor and cooperate for development. We need to say no to provocation in war. We do not want hegemony in the world. It is not difficult to ask the United States, Russia, and China to accept this proposal, which could be put forward at the UN. And they should not act irresponsibly, the Mexican leader said. This is not about good guys and bad guys. It's about putting the interests of the people before the interests of governments and economic groups. Although it seems utopian, that's what it's about. Not the other way around, the Mexican leader observed. The West should not be surprised if Chinese President Xi Jinping fulfills his stated ambition to regain control of Taiwan because he has appeased dictators for too long, the former British defense minister said. Sir Gerald said that the West failed to respond to Putin's initial seizure of Crimea in 2014 and took part in the disastrous retreat from Kabul last year and that both served as a green signal to dictators such as Xi to engage in illegal behavior. His comments came after Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi called U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan irresponsible. China retaliated by launching more than 100 planes, including fighters and bombers, and more than 10 warships into the nearby Taiwan area, 